Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. As in the last tutorial, I also cut this video into two parts. In the first part, I will show you how to jailbreak, and in the second, how to update an already jailbroken switch. The second part of the video will help you even if you accidentally updated your switch and now you're stuck. As always, the file package contains everything you need. Atmosphere, Hecate, SIG patches, apps for installing NSP files and band protection. For this process, you need unpatched or Nintendo Switch with mod chip installed. On this site, you can check if your Switch is unpatched. You can also find a mod chip installation tutorial on my channel. In addition to the Switch console, you also need the RCM jig, micro SD card, SD card reader, and USB cable. Speaking of SD cards, watch this video because there are a lot of fake SD cards out there. So without further ado, let's get started. Make sure you are on the latest firmware version and then turn off the console and connect the SD card to the computer using the SD card reader. Download the AIO package from the link in the video description and extract it. Then open the Guy Format software. Make sure your SD card is selected and then press start. This will erase everything from your SD card. Now copy everything from the SD files folder to the root of the SD card. Put your SD card back in the switch and put the RCM jig on. While holding volume up, press the power button to enter recovery mode. Now connect your switch to the computer using a USB cable and open Tegra RCM. Select the Hecate bin from the SD files folder and then press inject payload. Go to Emu MMC, create Emu MMC, SD file. This is going to take a while, so I'll speed it up. EMU MMC has been created and you can now launch it. As you can see next to the firmware version, there is now an AMS label, which means that you have successfully jailbroken your switch. 
Now you can watch some of my tutorials from the video description, like DBI tutorial where I show how to install games. So if you have a dual system, as I always show in my videos, you can update the stock firmware through the system settings. Otherwise, do the update only through the Daybreak app after replacing the files on the SD card. I just updated my stock firmware and now we can move on. Now connect your SD card to the computer in the way you prefer. Go to the link in the video description and download Update AO Pack. Now extract the file you downloaded. Open your SD card and delete the following files and folders. Atmosphere, Bootloader, Hecate, and Payload Bin. You can also make a backup in case you have some mods that you want to restore later. Now copy everything from the SD files folder to the root of the SD card. Now you can launch EMU MMC. Go to the album and launch the Daybreak app. Press install and select the firmware. Now confirm everything is in the video and reboot your switch when the update is finished. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If this is too complicated for you and you want to do it together, you can always contact me on Instagram. Also, check out my other tutorials and subscribe to the channel to stay updated. See you in the next one.